Welcome everybody. This Sunday marks Fastlane from WWE. This is the last stop on the road to WrestleMania and it's got a night full of exciting matches that I think are going to have great implications for WrestleMania and beyond. So I'm going to take a minute to discuss these matches and give my predictions to what I think is going to happen this Sunday night. First up we have Mysterio Jr. vs. Cien Almas on a disrespectful pre-card match. Now this is kind of embarrassing I think because Rey Mysterio is a legend and almost is somebody who quite frankly is seemingly in line to get a push. And so to have their match on a pre-show, I'm just not digging it. I get it they're trying to do like the pre-show make it a thing, but you know, they don't even have it on WWE Network and try to watch, you know, the pay-per-view afterwards. So really nobody's gonna see this match, which is probably good because Rey Mysterio is probably gonna lose to Cien Almas and some shenanigans. And I'm sure it'll be a good match, but it's not the result I necessarily want to see, and I don't know if it'll be, you know, the greatest highlight of the talent. They'll probably just, you know, really put on a kick-ass match at the pre-show, and no one's going to see it, unfortunately, and that's just the way it is. Next up, we have the Women's Tag Team Championship match between Bailey and Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax and Tamina. Now, I think the Women's Tag Team division is one of the very few things WWE is doing great right now. I think it's breathed new life into not only the women's division, but the tag team division as well because, quite frankly, tag team wrestling, especially in WWE, has gotten stale like, you know, pantry crackers. You know, you know, I think that's too bad because tag team wrestling can be something when utilized effectively that is very entertaining and can offer something much different than what you normally see in normal wrestling fair. You know, everybody likes to get into fights or, you know, live vicariously through the wrestlers in these matches. And what better way to fight than with, you know, alongside the homies. So, you know, that's where the inherent, you know, that is where the inherent interest lies in these matches. But I do think Bayley and Sasha Banks are going to defend their titles and they're going to keep them at least through WrestleMania. But I think they will put on a very interesting match and it's going to help put the women's tag team division push it forward. And I think ultimately it'll be a good match and one of the better ones on the card. Next up, we have the men's tag team SmackDown tag team championship match of the Usos versus Miz and Shane McMahon. Now, obviously, the Usos are going to win this match. The whole point of this is to further push the feud between The Miz and Shane McMahon that we all see coming for WrestleMania. And I think they'll probably, you know, they'll put on a great match. Everybody involved does great. You know, the Usos are fantastic. I do hope they go to AEW, quite frankly, because I think they'd be used better there. But, you know, in the meantime, I think they're going to be pushed to the SmackDown Tag Team Championships and they're going to further the feud between The Miz and Shane McMahon for WrestleMania. Next up, we have a Reunited Shield versus... Everybody that's not in the Shield, quite frankly. Uh, this match, I mean, there's really not a lot to say. The Shield are obviously going to win. You know, they're obviously they're doing the whole, oh no, the Shield, everyone's going to like fight against them. The Shield, they always win when they lose, let's be honest. I don't think they've ever lost a match, the three of them together, or at least not that I can remember. So I think, you know, it's just going to be a way of kind of hyping them up for what I think will eventually be a huge twist at WrestleMania when they fuck over Seth Rollins in this title match. But... In the meantime, it's going to be a nice shield victory versus all them dudes. Next up, we have the SmackDown Women's Championship match between Asuka and Mandy Rose. This, I feel like this is the match with most potential for an upset just because Asuka has been basically a forgotten champion at this point. I mean, her two main opponents are fighting each other for the Raw Women's title in WrestleMania. Sorry, in the hopes that... It's going to set up the WrestleMania main event match. I'll talk about that a little later. But I think Asuka's going to get the victory. Although she could lose, they could always pull a surprise for this match. But I don't see it happening. I'm going to go with the safe choice of Asuka in what will probably be a good but not great match. Next up in what will likely be our co-main event, Daniel Bryan versus Kevin Owens. Now, I think on paper this is going to be a very good matchup. Um, you know, Kevin Owens and Daniel Bryan alike are two of the best performers in WWE right now, and I think they're going to put on a fantastic match. The only thing I think that is really marring this matchup is the Kofi Kingston thing, which I'm sure will be great when they actually pull it off at of WrestleMania, maybe in a triple threat match of some sort, but it's going to have that shadow hanging over this match, which I think really limits this match's ability to become something as good as it should be, which, you know, I could be wrong, but I feel like it'll still be a great match, but... It won't have necessarily that special feeling like it should have, but I do think Daniel Bryan retains, and I think he'll go to WrestleMania where he'll then probably lose the belt to Kofi Kingston. Now, last up is the main event, which will be Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Fair for the vacant Raw Women's Championship. Now, I don't know why they decided to get the belt off of Ronda Rousey. I mean, I get why they did it. It's dumb. You know, really, I don't think the setup to this 
WrestleMania main event, which is going to be the triple threat between Ronda, Charlotte, and Becky. I don't think they've done a great job with the setup to be quite frank. I think, you know, it should just be Becky Lynch and, Char and Ronda Rousey. That's really what I think the main event should be. I get why they're trying to include Charlotte and make it interesting, but I think it's just too much, and it's really going to kind of sap the, the match itself at WrestleMania. And even really... You know, the fact that we're speaking about this match that has nothing to do with Ronda Rousey for this Sunday, it, you know, is Miles, you know, tells Miles about the situation at large. But I do think Becky Lynch is going to win, but I don't think a title holder is going to be given. I think it's going to be some interference, and I think it's all going to set up for a WrestleMania main event. Well, these are my predictions of WWE Fastlane for this weekend. Uh, let us know at the bottom who you think is going to win and what you think might happen. And also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe below. Peace.